कोर कारिकुलम इज ए सेट अफ कोर्सेस दैट आर कन्सिडार्ड बेसिक एंड एसेंसियल फर फ्यूचार क्लस वार्क एंड ग्रेजुएशन मैथामेटिक्स सायन्स इंगलिस हिस्ट्री एंड जियोग्राफी आर एन एक्साम्पल अफ कोर कारिकुलम इन ए मिडिल स्कूल और हाई स्कूल द कोर कारिकुलम वज ऑरिजिनलि डेभलपड एज द मेन कारिकुलम यूज बै कलम्बिया कलेज अफ कलम्बिया यूनिवार्सिटी इन नाइनटीन नाइनटीन In details, a core curriculum encompasses the content and sequence of subjects taught and assessed according to performance objective using a variety of materials. Anything and everything students participate in that includes or teaches a lesson. For example, housewise, streetwise, just say no, red ribbon week, jump rope for heart, etc. Everything that goes on within a school, including extracurricular activities, guidance, and interpersonal relationships. Everything implied by school's organization, room or seating arrangements, time management, raising your hand to speak, behavioral expectations for students, student competition for academic and social awards, such that honor roll, student of the month, etc. adhering to a routine or schedule everything and anything planned by school personnel festival recitation drama etc everything experienced by the learners in the school each school has regional societal and financial differences they learn important social and emotional lessons from everyone involved in their school from the principal and teachers to school nurse to the cafeteria and custodial staff to parent volunteers down to their own peers etc many educators and associated personnel are sometimes unaware of the strong lessons they impart on their students to everyday contact now mathematics core curriculum we begin our mathematical journey with solidifying students understanding of number as symbolic representation of quantities from the start children are introduced to all operations such as addition subtraction multiplication and division as they are invited to see how these operations are methods for bringing items together or taking them apart As a student move into level middle school classes they follow a typical sequence of pre algebra and algebra an accelerated program enable some student to complete geometry in 8th grade a hidden curriculum is a side effect of an education lessons which are learned but not openly intended such as the transmission of norms values and beliefs conveyed in the classroom and the social environment the hidden curriculum is all those things that we teach in schools and that are not written down in syllabus documents as for example morals schools ensure that the moral fabric of a society is passed down from one generation to the next We are taught not to steal, how to be polite, to respect our elders, and so on and so forth. Norms, things that we have become normal in our society, are retaught to us in school. Putting your hands up to signify you want to speak is not something that's natural. We are not born knowing it. We have just decided that it's a norm. and now we pass that rule on from one generation to the next the same goes with tucking your shirt into look neat we just pass this on from one generation to the next because we are taught this by our teachers back in the day gender roles one part of the power hierarchy that might be reinforced in school is gender roles Research shows that boys get a lot more attention from their teachers than girls. Some teachers might also treat girls and boys differently. This hidden pattern of behaviors might reinforce gender disparities between girls and boys. Teachers must have to be very careful about this matter. In short, we can say that respecting for other people's opinion, respecting authority, punctuality aspiring to achieve having a work ethics 
how to ask for something you want, how to enter or exit a room appropriately, what to do when someone else is acting inappropriately, acceptable way to say no. These are the things that taught through the hidden curriculum. In arithmetic, percentage, profit and loss, simple and compound interest, partnership, these are very important concepts taught at school. A business that has two or more owners who agree to share profit and are liable for any debate or losses. After having clear understanding about percentage, ratio and proportion, profit loss, partnership concepts, students from different walk of life having ability, managerial talent and skills join together to carry on a business. In-depth understanding about profit and loss, partnership helps the students to increase administrative strength and understanding proper financial resources, the skills and expertise and reduces risk. The most common forms of interest are simple interest and compound interest. Simple or compound interest is one of the most important concepts to learn about investing, building wealth and financial literacy. Understanding their differences can help us to make better financial decisions, save money and boost net worth over time. Simple and compound interest helps to understand savings account, checking accounts and certificates of deposit, students loan, mortgages and other personal loans, credit cards, installment loans, etc. After solving this kind of problems, unintentionally they develop the values like gratitude, sharing, cooperation, respect, equality, honesty, truthfulness, self-confidence, patience, etc. Algebra is an essential component in the planning, creation and management of house and home. Without algebra, buying, decorating or building a home would all be extremely difficult. In day-to-day -day life, many people use linear equations every day, even if they do the calculations in their head without drawing a line graph. After solving problems on linear equation, the student will be able to make predictions about what will happen in the future. Concept of linear equation allows students to describe relationship between two variables in the physical world make predictions, calculate rates and make conversions among other things. Linear equation represents in short and scientific way. It also saves time and space. Solving this kind of problem values like common sense, power of right and wrong, cleanliness, patience, self-confidence are developed. Do you know whether an oversized sofa, a lamp, large table, bed set will all fit in there? Did you remember to take the measurement of the door leading into the living area? These questions could be used as a group exercise to get students thinking about the critical daily applications of geometry. It helps students understand that their family likely use geometry in daily life. This makes geometry lessons more meaningful and easier to remember. Geometry helps to build the thinking skill of logic, deductive reasoning, analytical reasoning and problem solving. Studying chapters like lines, angles, parallel lines, planes, quadrilaterals and their area, circle and their areas, 3D shapes like cone, cylinder, pyramid, rectangular, parallelopiped, Students develop special visualization abilities and understanding geometry which involves matching shapes through visualization. Geometrical tools like the protractor, ruler, measuring tape and much more are used in construction work, astronomy for measurement, drawing, etc. Now solving these kinds of problem values like Gratitude, cooperation, truthfulness, self-confidence, cleanliness, patience will develop among students. In the same way, any project or group work in mathematics develop adjusting and compromising, helping mentality, honesty, never hurt anyone, acceptance, compassion, cooperation, punctuality, courage, dependability, 
empathy, fairness, hard work, appreciation of social issues, etc. The null curriculum is that which is not taught. Sometimes the teacher ignores some content or skill deliberately or unknowingly. A teacher may consider some idea unimportant and ignore it. Similarly, teacher may avoid detailed description of some topic for the one or other reason. For example, evaluation in biology. Sometimes also the learner fails to learn certain knowledge, skills or attitude for various reasons. Another example would be the topic of sex education. Sex education has long been an issue with regard to the degree to which it should be included in the school curriculum. But the newer issues of gender orientation, alternative lifestyles and alternative family configurations. Just to mention a few, exemplify how exclusion from the explicit or implicit curriculum and thus inclusion in the null curriculum and that affects the overall educational experience. There are different metrics for multiplying two digit numbers. Though the second two methods are easy to remember, the teacher can only teach the first method and ignore the second two. There are basically three methods to find greatest common divisor in mathematics. While teaching GCD, teacher can easily skip any of these methods to find GCD. We can prove or verify Pythagoras theorem in different ways. But in secondary school, the teacher generally teach any one or two geometrical proof of the theorem. All such topics or method which a teacher intentionally or unintentionally skip or avoid to teach in a particular class may be considered as null curriculum. Things to remember. Now try this. You can follow these guidelines.